YouTube what is going on welcome back to the video welcome back to the channel man for everyone that is new to the channel into this video of course um, thank you for tuning in uh, we want you around for the long haul so make sure you hit that subscribe button because we want you around to see all the stuff we got going on on this channel we do a lot of car related stuff on the channel and I know you like cars right click in this video so make sure you lock it in for the long haul we would love to have you a part of the channel and for everyone that has been supporting my YouTube channel and all that that's already subscribed well thank you guys for doing that already uh we couldn't do this without you guys so hats off and thank you to you but uh we're not gonna hold you too long let's go ahead and get into the topic of today's video so you know looks like we got we're doing a little bit of a different setup here today because of the fact that dodge has a lot of announcements going on this week and i want to make sure i can you know want to cover it and get my thoughts and stuff on that and what have you so i'm going to be releasing more videos than i usually do in the week's time frame so i'm probably going to release like three videos back to back to back because like i said they have three announcements going on this week and they've already done their first announcement for the weekend man it is uh mr doozy so we're gonna go and get into that and kind of talk through some of the stuff about it and uh you know get my thoughts on it and some things maybe you want to think about as well so let's go ahead and dive into it so like i said um we are doing a little bit of different style video here um today i usually don't do a lot of videos in the garage talking or whatnot but like i said videos just released of what dodge has coming up for part of this year and going on until next year so if you like the style this style video of what i'm doing you know make sure to let me know in the comments below um yeah this is my first time doing it this way uh doing it in the garage and i kind of set up a little studio in here so to speak kind of i just use the ring light bro i ain't, I ain't doing anything too crazy but it's a little different for what i'm used to do but let's go ahead and get it and talk about what dodge has dropped on our heads today so if you've been following along this is what dodge plans to do this week they've already announced for today um kind of what they're gonna do with the current platform and all of that which we're gonna get into right now um but also tomorrow they're going to talk about their first ev vehicle that they're going to be um releasing to the public so that is to drop tomorrow um and i do the video after that and then on wednesday that is more than likely going to be the release of the new crazy um hellcat whatever it's supposed to be on on wednesday so then we're going to talk about that but let's get into what they're going to do right now all right so let's get into what they first un unveiled here so the first thing they started off they kind of went and talked about the direct connect catalog for the first half of the release here today which typically uh i was in the chat uh not in the chat, i was on the live premiere and i was watching it as well i know a lot of people really didn't care about the direct connect stuff um uh, i feel like a lot of the stuff they talked about at that point really appealed to maybe like a small number of people in general um but the stuff they talked about there um uh, mainly was the rolling chassis for the drag pack so if you want to buy a drag pack without the engine and stuff they have a rolling chassis that is certified to go uh, 7.5 seconds in the quarter mile um and you can put whatever engine you want to in there so that's what you're looking to do they have that available that's about ninety thousand dollars you know and that's just the chassis but it's pretty much the chassis roll case wheels all that you still got to put a drivetrain in it um they also talked about they have the body of a challenger if you want to put everything in there from wheels and stuff like that just the body itself which is ready to paint they have that available as well for eight thousand dollars that's out of direct connect platform as well i mean catalog and they also mentioned some other kits they have available such as the supercharger kit i mean from the hellcats and the red eyes and things like that so if you're looking to add that to your car they have that also and also the uh eight speed transmission which could be part of your build whatever you're deciding to do there um that's another thing they talked about that's going to be available in the direct connection catalog um so if you're building something crazy and you need the transmission the supercharger kit all that type of stuff all that will be available in the catalog which i said which is not really appealing to a lot of people there are people out there that do crazy builds and things like that so that would appeal appeal to that crowd but not to the vast majority the next thing they uh, unveiled was the carbon, they, they unveiled this 1970 or 69 um, Dodge Charger that was fully carbon fibered out, all the panels. So that's the new thing that they're gonna be doing as well from the direction, uh, direct connection uh, catalog. So if you're looking to take a vehicle and flip it all carbon fiber, they have those panels for you as well, which again, does not appeal to the vast majority. Now my thoughts on some of this stuff, now it seems that they have a lot of stuff for sale like they pretty much it's like a garage sale if you ask me they're going through all the parts and pieces that they probably would not be using when they go electric and they're selling it to the public like um like the drag pack chassis uh the the bodies uh, the transmission supercharge kits all that type of stuff 
more than likely not be used well for a fact it won't be used in the next generation charger and challenger um and so they're adding it to the catalog and say hey if you want to get it you can get it here but one thing he did say was that the body of the challenger if you want to buy that for eight thousand dollars you had to get it before the plant closes because after that happens you're not going to get it so it seemed like it was kind of a limited edition thing they they're, they're pretty much are, are not going to be using that body style anymore so it looks like for a pack 2023 is going to be the last of this particular um, body style for the charge and challenger that wasn't all they talked about on this whole press release they had this evening um the next thing they talked about they will be finally producing convertible challengers it's been how many years people have been asking for this to happen they finally done it so the way they're doing it um dodge isn't making the convertible challengers themselves what they're planning on doing is you buy the challenger uh you say you want the option for the convertible they build your car ship it down to this place in florida called drop top customs they will do your challenger in a convertible form send it up to the dealership you ordered your car from and now you have your convertible challenger now the crazy thing about this that company was already making uh convertible challengers for a long time this is something they've been doing dodge they, they just decided to partner with a different company that was already doing it without them having to go in and retool their whole assembly process and stuff like that so they just outsourced that part and whatnot so i do have a couple of things about that so the first thing is they didn't talk about the price on how much this is going to be after some after some uh i looked up a couple things so this is the price if you want to order a convertible challenger you're looking at 26 thousand dollars just for a convertible challenger that <laughs> that's uh that's without a doubt the most expensive option that dodge has ever released twenty six thousand dollars for that and the reason it is so expensive is because of the fact first off dodge has got to make money off of this drop top customers have to make money off of this and on top of that is extra shipping that's going to be involved with that as well so you got to get your car built it's got to get shipped all the way down to florida it's got to get done up down in florida and it's got to get shipped back to the dealership. So it's, it's a longer shipping process and things of that nature. And also on top of that, and just kind of thinking about this, you're going to be waiting some time for your convertible challenger. If you decide to do that, you're going to probably wait um, maybe like a, two or three months, depending on what your build is going to be. And then on top of that, you have to wait probably another few more weeks for them to complete the converge into a convertible so pretty much they're going to make the cars normal ship it down there and let them handle the rest um so be expecting if you're looking to get a convertible it, I, that's gonna be a long build process a very long build process i've seen uh some cars at a dealership that had this convertible done already uh, i'm not sure if this was something Dodge was testing or, or what have you but they're going to be expensive so we're talking about a scat pack that's going to run you let's say you get a scat pack right a scat pack is going to run you about fifty something thousand dollars you're going to add another twenty six thousand dollars on top of that your scat pack just base price now is seventy thousand dollars for a convertible we're not even adding any options or anything like that that is about to get insane fast and that's not and that's not even before some dealer markups that are going to happen which you're going to get into here as well so on top of that if you're looking to do the convertible challenger that can be done starting this year i think it's going to be later on this month they're going to start taking orders for that so if you do have a 2022 that you want to order you can get it with a uh, convertible this is only for the v8s and up so if you have a hemi rt scat pack anything on up you're able to get the convertible option for your car and of course you'll be able to do it in 2023 but you can start as early as 2022 to get your convertible challenger and my last part about the convertible challenger and this is just a personal preference for, to me i think it looks good with the top down but once you put the top up to me it looks completely i think the the look of the car is ruined um so i know some cars you know they have the, the soft top and some cars have a hard hard top that i feel like the challenger is a car that should have been designed with the hard top convertible if they were really serious about doing it and i know dodge probably didn't want to spend the r d to make a, a, a hard top convertible for the challenger i don't think the soft top does it for me with the top down i think it looks pretty good but once you put the top up it looks it, to me it looks really ugly i i, I can't get past that look at all. that's just me some people are going to think differently of it it's cool um you know no hate from me but it's a no for me i, I don't think 
yeah if, if i had it, i was in a position to do it i wouldn't i would not want a convertible challenger some other pretty big news from today's press conference um that dodge had uh the hellcat durango will be coming back for the final year run here uh as you know when the hellcat durango first came out they first said it was gonna be a one-year thing and that was it but it seems like dodge is kind of going back on that just a little bit and releasing it again um so pretty much to me i mean that was pretty much easy for dodge to do um they already are making these are the Durango's anyway um, they're already making the Hellcat engine anyway so might as well just put the two back together and start making more Hellcat Durango's because those will sell um, pretty easily in my eye I feel like this was just another one of those things where Dodge was like well we're not going to be selling Hellcats anymore we might as well just sell everything out the plant and get it gone so that's my thing on the Hellcat Durango so if you missed the opportunity to get a brand new Hellcat Durango when they first released them you got your chance now the last thing that they talked about in this um release that they have today and this has pretty much been talked about in and and building up to this point anyway and kind of setting direction of where dodge is going in the future now we already knew about the v8s going away i think everyone knew about it read about it we, we saw about it i said saw about it we saw it um and things like that but today when the ceo actually came out and actually said it it kind of that hurt bro it hurt he he said man we're not gonna have any more any more v8s after 2023 we thought it was gonna be um honestly a slow cut where they're gonna just start cutting out the top v8s and then slowly they'll be gone but it's going cold turkey after 2023 for a fact no more no more rts no more scat packs no more hellcats nothing nothing at all so my my advice before i get into the other stuff along with that if you're planning to get a v8 next year it's probably going to be the most expensive stuff you're going to buy no lie dealership markups are about to be crazy for that probably no rebates or anything like that so it's going to be pretty expensive to get a v8 in 2023 without a doubt if you have a v8 right now hold on to it <laughs> hold on to it for sure um i'm probably i'm i'm gonna be in my scat pack for a while uh, I plan on that anyway, but uh, let's. But that's not all. Let's go ahead and get into some of the more detail of surrounding that. So Dodge, um, so Dodge will be doing some special things for the 2023 models as they are the last of the V8, and they're also going to be closing the plant in Brampton, Canada, where all the cars are produced. So pretty much, this is going to be a lot, a, end, a lot of ending for a lot of things here. So one of the things um, that they mentioned is if you if you have a car that's getting built in 2023 from there they're all gonna have a special plaque in the engine bay um kind of i guess celebrating all this all the work they did up there um for building all the cars things like that so hats off to all, all the people up there um that you know kept the, the the muscle going and stuff like that um so they're gonna have a special plaque so that's gonna make those 2023s a little bit more special than some of the other models um but some of the biggest news and i think I actually i think i actually touched on this in one of my previous videos um before all the cars are going away they are bringing back some old colors some of the throwback high impact colors which is going to make a lot of people happy so if you missed your chance to get in a b5 blue um charger challenger you missed your chance to get in a, a plum crazy pu purple i can't talk plum crazy purple you missed out on getting sublime or you missed out on getting destroy your gray um all those colors will be coming back with 2023 um so that is going to be real good um i really like those colors especially i love the sublime uh, i kind of hate now that uh that they're coming out on the last year i outside of red I, sublime is i like sublime but um that's going to make a lot of the cars uh, a little bit more rare than they normally are because of these colors that are coming back so uh if you wait until 2023 to get your car i think you made a good choice but um that's one thing i think they did that right by bringing back some of the older colors uh there were probably some other colors that some people are still going to see some people are not going to be happy about that still they're still going to be you say hey i wish they would have brought back some random like hemi orange i mean they gotta have a hemi orange package i know it's a lot of people like hemi orange um there's probably some other colors out there that they should have brought back like the yellow like the detonator or the stinger yellow whatever whatever they call it um yellow jacket yellow jacket is probably the color um so there's some other colors they could have brought back like i said but uh i think they they did it right by bringing back those historic colors specifically because those colors do go back to kind of the original uh 1970s model challenger bringing back those particular colors to me was a good move i like it after all of that there's still other stuff they are talking about releasing and we're going to find out more of that later 
this month. So there are actually seven more cars they have to release. Um, they apparently had a truck with six cars on it. I know it says seven, but it was a truck with six cars on it and they all had release dates on it. And on those cars, it had the engine size and it had like another number under it. So just kind of quick, I may go into a different video and talk more specific, more specifically about this, but it looks like this is what we got. Out of the six cars, the six special edition cars, uh, four of those will be the 6.4 liters and those will have a, I'm guessing the number under it will be a production number. Um, so I'm guessing it's going to be a thousand of those made. And then there were two cars that were, uh, that had 6.2 HO. So I'm assuming 6.2 high output. And those two cars on the end had a number of 300. So it looks like we're probably going to get limited edition Hellcat something that's only going to be 300 in production. Well, total 600 between the two options there, but we're going to see what that is. But that was on the truck here, which the dates align with um somewhere between the end of august and beginning of september these are cars that that will be coming out for 2023 the special caveat is that those cars cannot be ordered anywhere the dodge is going to take those cars they're going to spec them out themselves and ship them to dealerships and you'll be able to track where the cars are and things like that that's what dodge is doing they're being really transparent about where the cars are going to be at um I, I heard a lot of stories when people were going to order cars that they do an order and the dealership never had an allocation for a particular car so they didn't they couldn't get the car and things of that nature so looks like dodge is trying to make sure that people who go out to order these cars can get the cars in their hands uh car lots car dealerships out there aren't as honest as some others and they will say anything just to get you to spend money with them just to leave you without the car that you're actually looking for so i think that's a good move i'm really interested to see what these special edition models are going to be they said the, they're going to the, these cars are going to throw back to some other models and things like that so addition to those six cars there's one more car that they plan on releasing at sema which i'm not sure what that's going to be yet i um, may have to talk about this in a different video as well but pretty much the only teaser they gave us is the tag on the car said one fast two nine that's all it says so we have no clue what that means there's a lot of speculations the two nine could be 2.9 seconds um who knows what it means it can mean a lot of things you know but it'll make sense in sema apparently which is later this year and they're going to release that car um at that point but that's something else we'll probably go to another video about all right guys we're going to wrap up today's video man it's, it's hot in this garage i'm not gonna lie to you guys uh, you might be seeing on my face a little bit a little bit of sweat or whatever but we're gonna wrap up the video man um i'm got i'm definitely sad man i'm definitely sad man the v8 era is coming to an end i feel like i had a really good run um and it's crazy that after 2023 v8s are going to be something that's going to start to get more rare so um granted uh does mention they're going ev all right so the future won't fully be all ev looks like they're going to go ev and the inline six models which i've mentioned on a few videos back about that but it's going to be interesting here so definitely if you're looking to get a v8 you can't wait you definitely got to jump out there and get one now or it's probably gonna be hard to get one um, especially they're going to get really expensive or whatnot but that's like i said probably a topic for another video or whatnot but we're going to end the video right here thank you guys for tuning in i'm definitely going to have another video coming later this week i'm going to have a lot of videos dropping so thank y'all for tuning in uh, make sure you hit that subscription button and get it locked in for the long haul going to catch on next video we're out got it